I'm Joyce from Pencil Studio, ready for another tutorial of drawing. Today we are um, having the theme of Rome. So I always want to travel to Rome because it is a place with a lot of history and very nice architecture. So uh, if you think of Rome, what can you think of? Uh, I can think of the Colosseum, a very significant landmark. What is the Colosseum? Most of you maybe already know, but um, to describe it simply, a Colosseum is kind of like a huge outdoor cineplex. Or, um, it's basically an area of uh, where people gather to have entertainment. Uh, not really entertainment to modern sense because it, sometimes it's very violent what they're watching, um, animals versus human, um, but there's also something that uh, it's like a sport that they watch. It's called the um, chariot racing. So it's human riding on um, a chariot pulled by horses, usually by a pair of horses. And then um, they will go around and see which one goes fastest. So usually kind of dangerous. I think nowadays there are some performance that you can see in, for example, like medieval times or something like that. So today, what we're gonna learn is how to draw um, this chariot racing horses with a person um, on the chariot. Okay? So. Racing! Okay, so um, when I show you how to draw horses, you already guessed it, many of you will add a horn. It will turn to a unicorn if you want to. Uh, I will show you how you can even turn it to um, the Cinderella uh, chariot, right? So here, let's start. So on your piece of paper, I will recommend you to use it um, sideways like this. So lens, this is called landscape. And then you have lots of space sideways, so you can add two horses. Maybe I'll make my paper even a little bit longer like this. Okay, so let's start with around the middle part. So here will be um, our horses, two horses. And then here will be our chariot with a person, with one person standing on here. So when we start, um, think of the horses, or, or think of one horse as um, simple shape. So it has a very big, strong thigh muscle that we can describe it. So if you start in the middle, we can describe it as a circle like this. So again, draw very lightly right now because we still have to change the shape to make it more like a horse. Right now it will look like circles and rectangles, okay? So after that, this is a nice big thigh. Let me make my paper even bigger. After the nice thick thigh, it has a very round, um, strong chest as well. So we can also describe that as another circle. Like I'll try to make them almost the same size. So something like their distance shouldn't be too much. It should be around um, just another circle. So this space and this space and this space is kind of equal, okay? And then afterwards, um, we can link it. So there's a little dip down in the middle. So just a little bit, maybe I just exaggerate a little bit. A little curve down like this. Okay, very smooth, touching the very tops of these two circles. After that, um, it has a very skinny place up here, not in the middle, at the bottom here. So this is the skinniest part. And then you go down to wrap around the bottom of this circle. So that would be, um, it doesn't really have a belly because they always exercise, unlike me. <laughs> so it doesn't really have a belly, it just have um, a nice slim belly connecting to its chest like that. After that, before we draw actual muscle on the legs, we just do stick figure. So around here in the um, bottom of your thigh, I want you to draw almost like an arrow. So one part going like this first, 
and then you go down like that. So it's not very sharp arrow like this because it's stretching his leg, it's running, right? So it's one line here straight and one line here like this. So that's one leg, okay? We'll wrap around it later on. Another leg is a four leg, it's stretching this way too. So it's pretty straight. So start with around the bottom of this chest circle. We wanna do a little elbow like this. So it's basically this part of our arm. And then now we need to move on to this part of the arm, okay? So that's here. Okay. So for horse, um, it has one more part, which is basically this part of our hand, but they have really long portion. So over here, after you do this little uh, arrow shape, I want you to add one more of this. So you have one, two, three straight lines making up the front leg. This one actually should have one more. I just add one more. But it's very short, this one. Like the last part is not that long. So one, two, three, three straight lines make us up one leg. One, two, three. So wash the proportion, not all of them are the same length. Like this part is pretty long, this is pretty short, right? So I'll just leave it like this for now. Next, let's build up the head. So the shape of the horse has really long and kind of pointy to the end. And its neck is um, skinnier over here and then it joins, becomes wider and joins the chest. So around here, it has a pretty long neck, so leave some more space. Around here, I want you to draw a skinny triangle that's kind of rounded at the end like this, okay? After that, joint it with a nice smooth curve line from the side like this. It's like you're patting the horse. And then around here, joint it with the chest. So you can roughly see the shape of a horse. Okay, now let's refine it. So I'm gonna use a different marker to add um, all the muscles, hair, and tail for the horse. So let's start with the, the, the hind legs, okay? So here, from the bum bum, I want you to extend it and then when you reach almost um, where it changed angle, I want you to go very close to this line. So you're doing like a double line almost. And then you go like this. And at the end, let's add a hoop. So just do a little trapezoid like this, okay? And then here you can of course um, redraw these lines a little bit harder now. So you see I try to add a little bit more curves because there are muscles wrapping around the skeleton that we do. The skeleton, the stick man, it's very straight. Just imagine there are bones, right? So here you add a little bit curvier like that. For the front leg, same thing. You try to go a little bit uh, away from the bone, right? The muscle is a little bit bigger wrapping around it, but still very tight because it's a very skinny part of the horse. So you can do it on both sides of your leg very close to the bone, and at the end, add a little trapezoid. Okay, so you have two legs. Okay. And then here, let's add the ears. So uh, maybe just make one, because we're doing side weight, right? So just a little triangle like this, and then add the nice flowing hair, because it's running really fast. Even its bangs is covering its eyes a little bit. Running really fast. And so as his tail, so it's like running really fast. We don't need to do a lot here yet because um, it's gonna be a little bit covered by the carrots over here. <laughs> I said carrots. <laughs> All right, so here, let's add the eyes. It's not that visible, so just do, um, you can do cute eyes to be honest. It's cute. And add the nose. It's just basically a dog. You can just wrap around it a little bit more refined like this and you can add the mouth yeah. and of course if you want here unicorn yeah. and then you can erase these circles inside and you can erase the bones you have a nice horse shape with you and you can do all these things you want you can add like 
you know, the unicorn tattoo if you want. And then here, let's start with the um, chariot. So here, the chariot only has one, uh, one set of wheels. So two wheels, one on each side. So here, let's start with a big circle. It's a big wheel. Double line it. Add a circle in the middle. You guys know how to do this. Okay, hey, if you want a modern twist, you can do, I don't know, different decoration on it if you want. <laughs> yeah. And then um, it has a straight line on this side. Usually it's a little bit higher because it will kick up a lot of dirt and then um, it wants to protect the person that's inside, right? So a little bit higher of a um, side of the carrot and then you connect it to the side of this wheel. Here it can slowly slam down a little bit. You can add a little, you know, decorative edge like this. You know, usually um, it is just like this. And then it goes lower like that. So it doesn't really matter. As long as this side is higher, this side is shorter, you can even do, you know, even more cooler design like this. And then just make sure you kind of double line the tip because um, they are usually nicely decorated with like um, maybe some kind of symbol going on, engraved on the chairs, maybe some jewels, I don't know. You can make your own decoration. Yeah, don't copy me and do it all. Okay, alright, so your tail you can continue a little bit more. Okay, so now I said two horses, right? Usually it has two um, or more. So how do we draw the horse that's behind this horse? So we don't need to do that much because it's only um, partially showing the other part is covered by this horse in the front, right? So we can imagine the other horse maybe yanked back a little bit. So let's draw the head first. So here you can have your other horse maybe um, looking up a little bit. So you see the tip of the nose is pointing higher that towards the sky. So start with the simple shape again, it's a triangle and then you can draw the neck. Remember to get wider as you go down like this. So around the same length and then here you can just kind of copy this line but behind it. Maybe you can imagine this horse is like moving back a little bit than this one just to show um, more of the other horse. So you copy the same curved line pretty flat over here and then around bum bum. Okay, you can skip the tail of this first horse and then you can maybe just leave it like this first. I'll add another um, leg to it. Or if you want, you can just copy the same leg just a little bit higher like this. That may be the trick. So add ears, hair flowing, tail flying, Maybe another unicorn. Two eyes. Oops, it's too cute. Nose. Smile. Okay, so here, if you want to, it looks kind of weird with no other legs, right? We can add more legs. So let's say this one kicks a little bit uh, further, right? So Ed, you can imagine the skeleton is behind this horse doing something like this three parts, remember? Three straight lines, like one, one, two, three, like that. So really, you don't see this part because it's covered by this horse. So you can just draw this little part that's sticking out, like that. So it looks like there's another horse. Well, you say horses has four legs, right? So right now, each of them only has two legs. Feel free to add more legs to make it look even better. So let's go back to the first horse if you don't know how to do it. So this horse, yes, it has another leg. Maybe the other leg is curved like this because horses run like that, okay? So here, you can do three straight lines, right? One, two, so skip this leg is behind, three, like this. Maybe this one is just curved like that, right? And then same thing, you're gonna wrap around it or double line it with 
the muscle like this. Yeah, so you guys have now that you can make it a little bit sadder to match, right? I think that's kind of enough because it will get very confusing if you add too many legs. You can just imagine it kicks up a lot of dirt, which is true, and then add some sort of like clouds or smoke dust coming up like this. Dust, dust, dust coming up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where's the person, right? So here, the person um, is standing usually. They don't sit. They stand and then they hold on to the, to the saddle like this. So you start with the head. It won't show the lower half. It will only show the torso, the, the upper half like this. So here, you start with the head. We'll decorate it with a helmet and all that. And then you can have um, kind of like a backbone here. So it bends a little bit because it's got pulled by the two horses or it's trying to hold on to these two horses. So there's the back bending a little bit and then you can add the neck. Oops, so fun. You can add the neck a little bit skinny. And then add a skeleton of the arm. So when you're grabbing on something, you can see my arm is doing an L, L shape like this. So the same thing, you try to do a skeleton first like this. You can at most like do a hand like that. And then you're gonna draw it a little bit harder to create the arm around it. So you just wrap around it like this. Maybe he's wearing short sleeves, so you can add a line like that. So just to tell this is short sleeves. Usually they wear no suits, so you can just do a bare arm. Maybe like this is easier. So just a bare arm. You can add muscle if you want, because they are very strong to hold on to two running horses. Like that. Okay. And then you can of course add, a, add back a little bit of the body by adding another line. Helmet. Um, you can do kind of like a curve down like this. So they usually have some, um, if it is Roman, they have these kind of fussy, red, fussy things, uh, feathers on top, like that. So it's very easy to do, just do a little line sticking out like that, like a mohawk, okay? And then you can have um, a very feisty eye like this. So it's like slanted and then looking that way. <laughs> It's like so determined. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win this race. Oops, my ears are funny. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna draw bigger here. If you don't see, this is the the, the bigger part of the head, like right this right? And then you're gonna add a nose like that. And then you can do, oh, maybe a serious mouth. You can add another eyebrow. But it usually got covered by the helmet, like this. So it depends on. Okay. Right. That's a bigger version. Easy to see. Okay. All right. I'm gonna erase this. I've got a tiny nose. Here. All right. Here you can have him holding on two horses. Like this. You can add more of a wrap around the nose. You don't have to do that. I think because this is a friendly version. <laughs> All right. You can add clothes to this guy, armor, or wear your cape. Wow. <laughs> so that's the, the Roman um, chariot, uh, chariot racing. So how can we turn this to Cinderella pumpkin? It's very easy. So basically this erased down to just the wheel over here. And then you change it to a big circle like this. You can add a little stem and add some lines, add some like vines like this. You can add the window. You can add nice curtains inside because it's having Cinderella inside. It's very fancy. And then um, for pumpkin, you can add some more lines, curved lines around it like this. So more like a pumpkin. 
and then you can have princess. I'm adding cheeks and eyelashes and a crown. You can add fancier hair, and she may be saying hi as she passes. <laughs> so it's very easy to change. Of course, there is a person actually holding on the horse. So you can put the same guy um, with that bended elbow, the L shape, holding on to these two horses. Maybe here's Dan. He, he sits usually. It's kind of messy right here. But usually it has a little seat. Maybe a little rectangle that sticks out. And then you can bend the legs. And then you need to erase some part. Yeah. This guy's happy too. <laughs> Got some hair. Well, this guy's mohawk. Alright, I hope you enjoy it. If you have more questions about how to draw a horse, it may be a little bit complicated with all the legs and like bones and stuff. Um, but you can uh, message me. I will show you more in detail. But I hope you enjoy learning how to draw a unicorn, basically. You can add wings to Pegasus. Up to you. Show me more of your pictures. I love to see them. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.